On September 9th of the first year of the Zaichu era, under a clear sky in the divine capital Luoyang, the shaky foundation of the Tang dynasty finally collapsed. At 67, Wu Zetian, upon the request of her ministers, ascended the throne in a groundbreaking moment. During her coronation, dressed in imperial regalia, she proclaimed a general amnesty from the Tianmen Tower and changed the dynasty's name from Tang to Zhou, moving the capital to Luoya. She named Emperor Li Dan as her heir and gave him the Wu surname, becoming the only female emperor in Chinese history. Let's take a chronological look at how Wu Zetian rose from a talented woman to the position of an empress. Family Background Wu Zetian was the second daughter of Wu Shihuo, a contributor to the founding of the Tang Dynasty, and her mother Yang Shi, of the Sui royal family, daughter of Sui Ningong, Yang Da, a younger brother of Guan De Wang, Yang Xiong of the Sui Dynasty, originally from Wen Shui Xian, Bingzhou. Born in 624 AD in Lizhou, some sources say she was born in Chang'an. She had an elder half-brother Wu Yuanqing and Wu Yuanshuang, and two sisters, Wu Shun, Lady of Han Guo, sometimes referred to as her younger sister in historical records, and Lady Guo. Her father, Wu Shihuo, was involved in the timber trade and the family was well off. Towards the end of Emperor Yang of Sui Dynasty reign, Li Yuan, who was in Hedong, often stayed at the Wu family home, establishing a connection. After Li Yuan rebelled against the Sui dynasty from Taiyuan, the Wu family provided financial and material support. After the establishment of the Tang dynasty, Wu Shihuo, as an original contributing official, rose to positions like Minister of Works and Governor of Jingzhou, and was ennobled as Ying Guo Gu. According to Bai Shouyi in the General History of China, Wu Zetian, given her father's rank and title, was not from a commoner landlord bureaucrat family but rather from a family of aristocratic bureaucrats who had risen from the commoner class. Wu Zetian was only 12 when her father passed away in 635 AD. She faced adversity from her cousins Wu Weiliang, Wu Huayun, and Wu Yuanshuang, who showed disrespect to her mother Yang Shi. Soon after, she moved with her mother from Jingzhou back to Chang'an. In November 637 AD, when Emperor Taizong of Tang was in the Luoyang Palace, he heard of the 14-year-old Wu Zetian beauty and summoned her to the court. She was appointed as a fifth-ranked talented woman and given the name Wu Mei, later misnamed Wu Mei Niang, in popular culture. Before entering the palace, Wu Zetian said to her widowed mother, Yang Shi, serving the wise and virtuous emperor, how can it not be a blessing? Why should you cry and act like a child? The historical records provide scant details about Wu Zetian's life in the palace during Li Shimin reign. One notable incident mentioned in later years was when she tamed a horse for Li Shimi. He had a horse named Shi Zetong, which was strong-willed and untamable. Wu Zetian, serving nearby, told Li Shimin that she could tame it but would need three items, an iron whip, an iron rod, and a dagger. She proposed to whip the horse first, then strike its head with the rod if it resisted, and as a last resort, cut its throat with the dagger. Li Shimin was impressed by her spirit. However, Wu Zetian did not receive Li Shimin favor and remained a low-ranking consort for 12 years. But she began to build a relationship with the crown prince Li Zhi during Li Shimin's final illness. In 649 AD, after Li Shimin's death, Wu Zetian, following the custom, entered the Ganya Temple in Chang'an as a nun along with other childless consorts. However, she maintained a secret connection with the newly enthroned Emperor Gaozong of Tang Li Zhi. Enter the palace again. In May 650 AD, Li Zhi visited Gaiye Si to commemorate the anniversary of Li Shimin's death and encountered Wu Zetian. They recognized each other and shared their feelings of longing since their separation. Empress Wang, who had lost favor due to her childlessness, saw an opportunity in this and suggested to Li Zhi to bring Wu Zetian back to the palace, hoping to undermine her rival consort Xiao Li Zhi, already inclined, readily agreed. In May 651 AD, after Li Zhi's mourning period for his father ended, Wu Zetian re-entered the palace. Before her return, she was already pregnant and later gave birth to a son, Li Hu. Upon her return, Wu Zetian quickly eclipsed consort Xiao Shufei in favor and by May 652 AD, she was elevated to the rank of a second rank Zhao Yi. Despite rivalry and slander among the women, Li Zhi did not heed these disputes. Wu Zetian was known for her cunning and ruthless tactics, as well as her literary and historical knowledge. In 654 AD, she gave birth to a daughter, Princess Andingxi. According to historical records, shortly after the princess's birth, Empress Wang visited and played with her. After she left, Wu Zetian allegedly killed the infant and covered it up. 
When Li Zhi arrived and discovered the child dead, Wu Zetian accused Empress Wang of the crime, and Li Zhi, unable to get a clear explanation from the Empress, started considering replacing her with Wu Zetian, though the veracity of this incident is debated, as other historical sources do not specify the cause of the princess's death. In June 655 AD, there were rumors in the palace accusing Empress Wang and her mother Lu of practicing witchcraft. Enraged, Li Zhi expelled Luz from the palace and contemplated promoting Wu Zetian to the rank of Chen Fei, but faced opposition from Chancellors Han Yuan and Lai Ji. At this time, Li Zhi's power was greatly limited by senior ministers like Zhang Sun Wu Ti and Chu Sui Liang, who opposed the replacement of Empress Wang Wu Zetian. Ascent to power faced many obstacles, but Li Zhi saw replacing the Empress as a way to reassert imperial authority and counter the influence of these senior ministers. Thus, Wu Zetian became his political ally. Soon, Li Yifu of the Zhong Shu Shiren became the first to openly support replacing the Empress, and many mid-level officials followed suit, seeing personal gain in supporting the move. Ministers like Xu Jingzong, Cui Yixuan, and Yuan Gongyu petitioned Li Zhi to make Wu Zetian the Empress, and seeing this support, Li Zhi's intent to replace the Empress was rekindled. Remark, this is a matter for His Majesty alone, why ask others, deeply influenced Li Zhi, turning the situation in his favor. On October 13, 655 AD, Li Zhi finally issued a decree deposing Empress Wang and consort Xiao Shufei, accusing them of conspiracy and poisoning. They, along with their families, were stripped of their titles and exiled. Seven days later, Wu Zetian was declared Empress. At the same time, Li Zhi demoted Chang Sun Wu Ti, one of the main opponents, to an external post. In April 659 AD, Wu Zetian and Emperor Gaozong of Tang reached a consensus to strip Chang Sun Wu Ti, Yu Zhining, Han Yuan, and IT of their positions and exile them from the capital. This move effectively centralized imperial power, significantly weakening the Guanlong aristocracy and altering the long-standing weakened state of imperial authority since the Wei, Jin, Southern and Northern dynasties, profoundly impacting Chinese history. The two saints ascend the throne. In October 660 AD, Li Zhi illness worsened, causing dizziness and an inability to handle state affairs, leading to Wu Zetian taking over government duties. This situation also created a rift between Wu Zetian and Li Zhi, nearly resulting in her being deposed. In January 661 AD, Wu Zetian requested the prohibition of women performing in clownish plays, which Li Zhi adopted and decreed. In April, Li Zhi planned a military expedition against Gao Goli but abandoned the idea after persuasion from Wu Zetian and other ministers. Initially, Wu Zetian was able to humble herself and follow the emperor's wishes, which led Li Zhi to insist on making her the empress despite opposition. However, once she achieved power, she exerted authority and controlled the emperor's intentions, which infuriated Li Zhi. In 664 AD, Chancellor Shang Guanyi proposed deposing Wu Zetian, and Li Zhi agreed, instructing Shang Guanyi to draft the decree. However, Wu Zetian was informed in time and pleaded her case to Li Zhi, who then reverted to treating her as before, even falsely blaming Shang Guanyi for the idea. From then on, Wu Zetian attended state affairs from behind a screen, influencing all decisions, large and small. During Li Zhi's reign, the nation was prosperous, and Wu Zetian actively encouraged him to perform Feng Shan rituals at Mount Tai. During the sacrifices to the heavenly emperor and the earthly deity, the deceased emperor and the empress dowager were honored. Although traditionally there was no role for an empress in such rituals, Wu Zetian argued that as the ritual honored the earth, it should be presided over by the empress dowager, highlighting the virtues of the earth. She insisted that she perform the secondary offering herself, as a show of filial piety to her mother-in-law, and Li Zhi agreed. Thus, in October 665 AD, Li Zhi led officials and a grand procession, accompanied by Wu Zetian and other noblewomen, from the eastern capital to Mount Tai for the Fengshan rituals. The procession, which included envoys and leaders from various nations such as the Turks, Persia, India, Japan, Silla, Beech, Goguryeo, and others, stretched for hundreds of miles. In April 672 AD, Wu Zetian commissioned the carving of a giant Buddha in her likeness at the Longmen Grottoes in Luoyang, using 20,000 guan, a unit of currency, for cosmetics. This project took three years and nine months to complete. In August 674 AD, Li Zhi adopted the title Heavenly Emperor, and Wu Zetian the title Heavenly Empress, ostensibly to honor the previous emperor and empress, but in reality, to elevate their own status. In December, Wu Zetian proposed 12 policies to Li Zhi, which he adopted and implemented via a decree. 
These policies included encouraging agriculture, reducing taxes and labor, advocating moral governance instead of military campaigns, regulating government workshops, streamlining labor-intensive projects, broadening free speech, curbing slander, promoting the study of the Tao Te Ching among officials, extending mourning periods for mothers, not retroactively investigating officials appointed before the Shangyuan era, increasing salaries for high-ranking officials in the capital, and promoting long serving officials with talents but lower ranks. In 675 AD, Li Zhi dizziness worsened, and he considered appointing Wu Zetian as regent. However, Chancellor Hao Chujun advised against handing over the realm established by Emperor Gaozong of Tang and Emperor Taizong of Tang to someone outside the imperial lineage, leading Li Zhi to temporarily halt the discussion. Wu Zetian responded by gathering scholars to compile significant literary works and participate in court decisions, thereby reducing the power of the chancellors. This group of scholars was known as the Scholars of the Northern Gate. The same year, Crown Prince Li Hong passed away, and Li Zhi appointed his An Wu Zetian's second son, Li Xian, as the new Crown Prince. In 680 AD, Li Xian was deposed and exiled for alleged treason, leading Li Zhi to appoint his third son with Wu Zetian, Li Xian, as Crown Prince. In 683 AD, Li Zhi visited the Feng Tiangong, and Wu Zetian, having returned from the Fengshan rituals at Mount Tai, advised him to perform similar rituals at Mount Song. However, he had to cancel due to illness. Soon after, Li Zhi appointed Li Xian to oversee state affairs, assisted by chancellors Pei Yan, Liu Qixian, and Guo Zhengyi. Li Zhi. Illness became severe, preventing him from seeing even his chancellors. In December, Li Zhi passed away in the Zhengguan Palace of the Ziwei Palace. His final decree stated that Li Xian should ascend to the throne in front of his coffin, and in matters of state that he could not decide, Wu Zetian should make the decisions. For days later, Li Xian ascended the throne as Emperor Zhongzong of Tang, honoring Wu Zetian as the Empress Dowager. The Empress Dowager assumes power. In February 684 AD, Emperor Zhongzong of Tang planned to appoint Wei Huanghou father, Wei Xuanzhen, as an attendant. This was strongly opposed by Pei Ya. Angered, Li Xian retorted, even if I give the whole world to Wei Xuanzhen, what harm is there? Is it such a big deal to make him an attendant? Wu Zetian used this as a pretext to depose Li Xian as emperor, confining him to a distant estate and elevating her fourth son, Yu Wang Tang Ruizong, to the throne. Wu Zetian effectively took control of the government. In September, Wu Zetian changed the era name to Guangzhai and renamed the eastern capital Luoyang as Shendu, Divine Capital, symbolizing its status as the primary capital. She also changed various government flags, official uniforms, and official titles, renaming the imperial palace as Taichugu. In the same month, Xu Qingye led a rebellion in Yangzhou to support Li Xian, quickly gathering an army of 100,000. Wu Zetian sent Yi Xiaoyi with an army of 300,000 to suppress the rebellion. By November, Xu Qingye was defeated and committed suicide. In March 686 AD, Wu Zetian ordered the creation of small copper boxes placed in front of the Ziweicheng in Luoyang to receive petitions from subjects at all times. She also encouraged denunciation, providing transportation and food for informers. Even farmers and woodcutters were received personally by her. Informers who pleased her could be promoted, and even if their accusations were false, they were not punished. Wu Zetian Appointed cruel officials like Suo Yuanli, Zhou Xing, Lai Junchen, and Hou Sizhi to manage prisons, where they used severe torture methods, leading to a climate of terror in the court and government. Officials would bid farewell to their families before attending court, living in constant fear. To reward informers, Wu Zetian granted them exceptional official positions. In the same year, she ordered the execution of Nan'an Wang, Li Ying and twelve other royal family members, including the whipping to death of the former crown prince Li Xian two sons. The Tang Dynasty's royal family was nearly annihilated, with the few survivors exiled to remote regions. Wu Zetian, usurpation of the Tang Dynasty's power and her elimination of the royal family led to unrest among other princes. Before a consensus was reached, Lang Yawang, Li Chong, the governor of Bozhou, rebelled in August 688 AD, followed by Yue Wang, Li Zhen, the governor of Yuzhou, Wu Zetian dispatched Qiu Shenji and Wei Chongyu to quash the uprisings, Li Chong rebellion was quickly defeated, and he died within seven days of its inception. In September 688 AD, Li Zhen was defeated and committed suicide, Wu Zetian, intent on eliminating all male members of the Li family, assigned Zhou Xing and others to interrogate and force King of Han, Li Yuanjia, King Lu, Li Lingkui, Huang Guogong, Li Zhuan, 
Dongguan County Duke Li Rong, Princess Changle, and their associates to commit suicide. That same year, Wu Zetian ordered Chi Huayi to oversee the construction of the Hall of Light in the Ziwei Teng, called Hall of All Images, and allowed the public to visit. She also commissioned Chi Huayi to cast a gigantic statue, so large that even its little finger could accommodate dozens of people. The statue was housed in a five-story, heavenly palace north of the Mingta. The cost of construction was astronomical, draining the government's finances Wu Zetian nephew, Wu Chengsi, had a white stone inscribed with, The Holy Mother descends to humanity, forever prospering the empire and claimed to have found it in the Luo River. Presented to Wu Zetian, she was delighted and named it Precious Chart. Subsequently, she elevated her title to, Holy Mother Divine Emperor. Queen's Years in September 690 AD, the imperial censor Fu Youyi and over 900 people from Guangzhou petitioned Wu Zetian in divine capital to change the state's name to Zhou and bestow the imperial surname Wu on the emperor. Initially, Wu Zetian did not consent. However, after petitions from officials, royal relatives, leaders of various tribes, Buddhist monks, Taoist priests, and people from near and far, totaling over 60,000, and Tang Ruizong, Li Dan, himself requesting the Wu surname, she agreed. Soon, it was reported that, a phoenix was seen at Changyang Gong and a red sparrow at the imperial court. Wu Zetian, then consented to the requests. On September 9, she presided over the Tianmen Lou, proclaiming a general amnesty, changing Tang to Zhou, and starting the Tianshou era. She bestowed upon herself the title Holy Divine Emperor, making the emperor her heir and bestowing upon him the Wu surname. A few days later, she erected seven temples dedicated to the Wu family in divine capital. In July 691 AD, Fa Ming and others compiled the Great Cloud Sutra, in four volumes, proclaiming Wu Zetian as an incarnation of Mithraya Buddha, destined to be the ruler of the world Wu Zetian ordered the dissemination of this text throughout the empire. She mandated the establishment of Great Cloud Temples, in both capitals and other states to house the Great Cloud Sutra instructed monks to lecture on it, and elevated Buddhism above Taoism. In February 692 AD, over 10,000 members of the Tuyuhan and Chang tribes submitted to Wu Zetianzhou dynasty, and she settled them across ten states. In May, a Tibetan leader, He Su, also sought allegiance, but his plans were leaked and he was captured by his people. During this period, the Chang leader Zan Chui and his followers were settled in Aichuanzhou by Zhang Xuanyu. Despite her advanced age, Wu Zetian was skilled in makeup and often appeared radiant, concealing her age even from her attendants. In September 692 AD, Wu Zetian dispatched generals Wang Xiaojie and Ashina Zhong to campaign in the northwest. In October, Wang Xiaojie defeated the Tubo, regaining control over the four towns of Qiuci, Shule, Yutian, and Suiye, and establishing the Anqi Protectorate in Qiuci. Despite opposition from her ministers, Wu Zetian resolutely reinforced these towns with an additional 30,000 troops, ensuring their stability until the reign of Emperor Xuanzong of Tang. In January 693 AD, Wu Zetian personally conducted a ritual in the Hall of All Images and created a court dance, selecting 900 dancers for the performance. She also executed the wives of Crown Prince Li Dan, later Li Xian, on false accusations and nearly implicated Li Dan in a scandal. In September, she assumed the title Holy Divine Emperor of the Golden Wheel, and created the seven treasures, including a golden wheel and a white elephant. She also posthumously honored her great-grandfather, grandfather, and father. In January 694 AD, Wu Zetian generally Duozuo quelled a rebellion by the Shirwei. In February, Wang Xiaojie defeated various forces including the Tubo and Tuyuhan. In August, her relative Wu Sansi led a request to cast a celestial pivot from copper and iron outside the main gate, inscribed with the names of officials and foreign leaders, symbolizing Zhou's central role in the world. On January 1, 695 AD, she adopted the title Compassionate Ancient Holy Divine Emperor of the Golden Wheel. On January 16, a fire started by her disgraced attendant Xue Huayi destroyed the Heavenly Palace and the Hall of Light. She ordered the reconstruction of the Hall of Light and converted the site of the Heavenly Palace into a Buddhist temple. In October, the Tujue Khanate sent envoys to surrender, pleasing Wu Zetie. In December, she traveled from Shindu to Songshan to perform a Fengshan ritual, proclaiming a general amnesty and changing the era name to long live the enthronement. In March 696 AD, Wu Zetian completed the reconstruction of the Hall of Light, renamed it Hall of Communicating with Heaven, and changed the era to long live the communication with heaven. In May, the Khaitan, leader of Sumo, Li Jinzhong, 
and the governor of Guizhengzhou, Sun Wanrong, rebelled, capturing Yingzhou and killing its governor Zhao Wenhui. Wu Zetian sent generals Tao Renjie, Zhang Xuanyu, and Li Duozuo to quell the rebellion. However, they fell into a chitin ambush and were annihilated. Further attempts by Wuxi generals also ended in defeat. In April 697 AD, Wu Zetian had nine cauldrons cast and dragged into Ziweicheng from the Xuanwuma. High officials, princes, and over a hundred thousand soldiers participated in the procession, accompanied by royal guards like great oxen and white elephants. Wu Zetian composed the song of dragging the cauldrons for them to sing in chorus. She positioned the cauldrons in the Hall of Light according to their geographical representation. She also dispatched generals Wu Yizong, Lou Shide, and Sha Jia Zhongyi with two hundred thousand troops to campaign against Sun Wanrong. In June, Sun Wanrong was defeated and killed, and his remnant surrendered to the Turks. The cruel official Ai Junchen planned to accuse various princes of the Wu family and Princess Taiping of conspiring against Wu Zetie. He also intended to implicate Li Dan and Yi Xian in a rebellion plot. Fearing for their lives, the accused banded together to expose his crimes, leading to his execution. His enemies even fought over his flesh, consuming it entirely. In 698 AD, Wu Chengsi and Wu Sanzi sought to become crown princes, hinting to Wu Zetian that no emperor in history had appointed a non-relative as heir. However, Chancellor Di Renjie advised Wu Zetian on the closeness of a mother-son relationship compared to an aunt-nephew one and the importance of familial lineage in the imperial temple. He also encouraged her to recall Li Xie. Subsequently, Wu Zetian showed no interest in appointing Wu Chengsi or Wu Sanzi as crown princes and secretly brought Li Xian back to Luoyang. Several courtiers, including Li Dan, supported Li Xian's claim to the throne. Faced with widespread support for the Li family, Wu Zetian realized the importance of aligning with public sentiment. An event during a military recruitment, where no one showed up until Li Xian's involvement was announced, demonstrated the people's preference for the Li family. Weighing her options, Wu Zetian eventually decided to appoint Yi Xian as the crown prince. Abdicated and died. After settling the succession issue, Wu Zetian, content and aging, indulged in constructing palaces and Buddhist temples. Zhang Yizhi and Zhang Changzong, brothers and favorites of Wu Zetian, were young and handsome, often adorned with makeup and lavish clothing. Wu Chengsi, Wu Sanzi, and others vied for their favor, even leading their horses. By then, Wu Zetian was elderly and frequently ill, unable to attend court regularly, which weakened her grip on power. She relied on the Zhang brothers as her informants. The brothers gradually interfered in state affairs, causing the downfall of Chancellor Wei Yuanzhong, antagonizing officials, and complicating the political situation. This tension between Wu Zetian, her son, and her officials became increasingly strained. It's recorded that Wu Zetian's granddaughter, Princess Yongtai, was executed for discussing the Zhangs with her husband Wu Yanji and King Xiao Li Zhongzhe. In January 705 AD, as Wu Zetian lay ill in Yingxian Gong, only attended by the Zhang brothers, a coup was orchestrated by Chancellor Zhang Jianzhi, Cui Xuanwei, and other officials, including Jing Hui, Huan Yanfan, and Yuan Shuji. They collaborated with military leader Li Duozuo, falsely accusing the Zhangs of rebellion. The conspirators stormed Ziweicheng, killed the brothers, and surrounded Wu Zetian's palace, forcing her to abdicate in favor of her son Li Xie. Wu Zetian was moved to Shangyang Gong after abdicating to Li Xie, who regularly visited her every ten days and accorded her the title Zetian Da Sheng Huangdi, effectively ending the Wuzhou Dynasty. In February, the Tang Dynasty was restored, and all official protocols, flags, dress codes, and the capital's name were reverted to their former state. Later in life, Wu Zetian ceased her elaborate grooming, appearing aged and frail. During a visit, Li Xian was shocked by her appearance. Wu Zetian lamented her situation, blaming the greed of the officials involved in the Shenlong coup for her plight. This incident is believed to have enabled members of the Wu family to remain in politics. Wu Zetian passed away on December 16, 705 AD, in Shangyang Gong at the age of 82. Her will decreed a simplification of her posthumous title to Zetian Da Sheng Huanghou and pardoned the families of Wang Huanghou, Xiao Shufei, Chu Suiliang, Han Yuan, and Liu Shi. She was buried alongside Emperor Gaozong in Qianling in May 706 AD.